everybody, and actually, good afternoon. It's 1.30. Uh, welcome to Hashtag Grow Your Life Live Sessions, where I share topics on growing in life, in business, and things that you can apply to your life to grow your life, grow your life and those around you. Now, in this today, I want to talk about why we should love everyone, and specifically, this as even a way of life. Also, you could see it as a strategy. Um, but in this, why we should love everyone. When we love people, love is stronger than hate. And so when we back and go behind what we believe in, more than go up against what we're against, we're standing for something instead of, and by us standing for something, standing solid in what we love, we are then standing up against what we're against by default. So in that, there's more power in that scenario. And in this, we can have compassion on other people, love other people, and experience all that's available in life. I think one of the biggest things that um, the world around us suffers is we just don't love enough. A lot of people also, there's different meanings for love as well. I'm talking about the meaning of love that applies to everybody, meaning like, I have respect for you as another human. You are special and I care about your well-being because I know that you were created as I was and there's nothing that separates us from that level. So that level of love is to where we can love all people even if they do us wrong. And that's why I say love is stronger than hate. When we hate something, when we come up against something, that energy is in defiance because it's to protect what we love. But when we have open arms of love, we're standing up against what we hate by default with open arms saying, I love you even though you're doing this or even though you're doing that and having compassion and empathy for other people. And in this, um, in life, having this helps us understand other people helps us see things from another person's perspective. And for me, I really, I put the lens on of God created everybody. God sees everybody from his lens. How can I have the same eyes that God does of all people? And in that, we can look at people that do horrible, heinous, terrible things and still say, I love you for who you are. You are created. You're making choices and decisions that aren't serving the world around you or you, but I still love you for who you are. And in that, we're able to truly remove the blinders from what our decisions and choices should be to move forward further. You see, if we block out certain people, groups of people, certain people because they don't agree with us, certain people because we hate them, and we don't have love for people, we're now saying that no, nothing you can do can enter into my territory, and I'm better than you, and I'm more worthy than you because of what you do. And in that, we know all of us have different things that we do or don't do. When we come from a place of love, it is much stronger than coming from a place of hate. Love is stronger than hate, and love covers a multitude. Any sort of thing that we hate, that we despise, love covers it because it has open arms and says that we have compassion. And we come from a place of compassion, nothing's impossible in that place. And so what I've seen happen as well, let's take this in, in business specifically, because I really, this, this is more of a business coaching platform, but I really care about this. When you love other people and you make business decisions based on love instead of hate, your business decisions are in a response of how I can help other people have a better life, how I can serve others. We don't come from a place of screwing people over. We make decisions and choices based on the best interest of making the world a better place and not how we can make it to glorify our tiny kingdom, our tiny little area that is our little sphere of influence, but rather a larger, more global impact when we love rather than hate. You see, when we have hatred, there's hate and hate. And so in hatred, you could have thousands of groups of people that hate each other, 
little silos, okay? Or let's just say there's two, two that hate each other. But with love, love covers all of that. And so it actually, love is what brings us together. Hate separates us. Love is what brings us together. And so in that, you can look at somebody that maybe you disagree with, somebody that you hate, quote unquote, but because love covers hate, you can say, listen, I love you. What you're doing isn't right. We're not justifying. We're not saying it's okay, but we're saying that, you know, you're just as much entitled to your opinion as me. And I love you enough to say that um, this isn't working out right here. But at the same time, I can respect you. And when we can have mutual respect for people, I see this so often and so sad. Two very similar groups of people that hate each other. But if it was this, that I, it's hate comes from because we love our own. So we're trying to protect our own. And when we hate each other on two separate sides, it's because we're trying to protect my side versus your side. So I love my side and I hate crossing over. But when we can all have love for each other and have love in that, it unifies. It brings us together. We find common ground, realize we're not all that much different. We have different things that we you know, maybe disagree on. We don't even have to agree on them either, by the way. You can love people and not agree in, in, in that. And so in this, love covers all. And I've seen this in so many different examples, either two people groups or three or whatever that hate each other. They come up against each other because they're trying to protect their own. They love their own. And all that would have to come together is say, hey, listen, we're all kind of messed up. <laughs> let's get real here. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Let's communicate. And let's see where we can find common ground instead of I want to protect my own. Rather, how can we work together and how can we talk together and come from a spirit of love? And in that as well, I've seen people that actually are towards a common goal, but they're competing with each other for some reason. And they hate each other because of that. When in fact, coming together could make them 10 times stronger. You see, all of us agree that we want to come up against what's evil, what's wicked, all of that. Absolutely. At the same time, even having compassion for people, what makes people that way? How did they get born as a human, as a child, and go along a path that did that? A lot of times there's, there's trauma, there's abuse, or sometimes there's even, there is mental illness. There's a, you know, a few wires wrong in the brain, and that triggers stuff like that. And if you study uh, people uh, that are like criminals and, and hurt other people, that's usually what they've discovered is some commonality in that comes from uh, a lack of empathy, a lack of feeling what other people feel. And so in that, they have no remorse for that. But if we can have love for even that person and realize they're another person, what they're doing is wrong. It's not okay. We're not justifying. But rather, I love you as a human being. And love for another human being is so powerful. And what we need to have on planet Earth is love for all human beings. I'm not talking about a sexual love. I'm not talking about a, like, it's definitely more of a spiritual love, like a brother and sister type. I'm talking, love has different meanings, but a love that we're together. We're in this together. We're on this ball, planet Earth, together. And in that place, that's the message of what, what Jesus taught. That's what, literally what it is, is love your neighbor as yourself. My neighbor could be across the ocean, but it's still my neighbor on planet Earth. And in that, that's how we live out a Christ-like life, Christ -like life. It's putting on the lens of how God would see all people, for all people, regardless of whether we agree or disagree or what they did or didn't do. We can love all people. Then we can start to think clearly for solutions, have conversations, and grow together and progress. But as long as we hate, we'll be held back. But if we can love, we can move forward and we can come together. So that's what I wanted to share today. Um, let me know your comments below. I did something a little different today. I didn't qualify any of my statements that I made, which is awesome. Not something I've not done before. Um, and I'm going to continue to do that because I want to start a conversation with people. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this and have a good one, everybody. We'll talk soon.